Hey everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to use the Blender Camera Control add-on to create realistic camera movements. We use the phone's rotation sensors to simulate a real camera, generating authentic shakes. I will show you in five steps how to create these movements. Step one, initial setup. After connecting your device, move the camera to the desired position to start the movement. Once you're in the ideal position, click the lock height button. This option locks the camera height relative to the 3D world, ensuring that when moving forward, the height remains unchanged. Step two, adjustments. Before recording, adjust the camera height and run a few tests to check if the acceleration speed and inertia feel right before recording. Step three, recording the movements. Move the camera forward. Simulate running shakes by moving your phone side to side. You can stop, look around as if observing your surroundings, and resume running. Perform several tests until you achieve the best results. Step 4. Finishing the recording. The recording will stop automatically when it reaches the end of the timeline. If you want to stop earlier, just click Stop Recording. After that, wait for the keyframe bake to be completed. Step 5. Reviewing and editing movements. Use the application's timeline to review the recorded movements. You can move the timeline by clicking and dragging left or right. Navigate to the first or last frame, or advance frame by frame. If something doesn't look right, you can delete the movements and redo them. Conclusion. As you can see, simulating a real camera in 3D using the Blender Camera Control add-on is very simple. Even if you use another software like Maya, Houdini, or Cinema 4D, you can simply download Blender, which is free, create your camera movements, and export them to any software you want. Download the Open Alpha now on Gumroad and try it yourself. Thank you, and see you in the next video.